News Real World, real news real quick. Germany confirmed early Wednesday it will supply Ukraine with 80 modern Leopard 2 battle, battle tanks and approve requests by other countries to do the same. The United States will also announce on Thursday that it will send 30 M1 Abrams battle tanks. Russia responded by saying Western tanks in Ukraine will burn and the actions in sending tanks are a blatant provocation. The Washington, D.C. think tank Center for Strategic and International Studies published a war game simulation report on Monday showing that the United States has the insufficient stockpiles of munitions or industrial capacity for a major military confrontation with China in the Taiwan Straits. The center projected that the Pentagon would run out of crucial missiles in the first week of a simulated clash, largely because the United States has given away so many missiles to Ukraine and other nations while failing to maintain the ability to manufacture more. Pope Francis on Tuesday criticized laws that criminalize homosexuality as unjust, saying God loves all his children just as they are and called on Catholic bishops who support the laws to welcome LGBTQ people into the church. Quote, being homosexual isn't a crime, unquote, Francis said. Turkey on Tuesday afternoon called off a three-way meeting with Sweden and Finland, leaving the two Nordic nations' plans to join NATO on hold. Relations between Ankara and Stockholm took a nosedive over the weekend following a government-sanctioned Koran-burning protest outside the Turkish embassy in the Swedish capital. Finnish Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto said Finland may try to join NATO without Sweden. And finally, Australian Education Minister Jason Clare said the country could refuse a visa to celebrity yapper, rapper Yee, formerly known as Kanye West, to visit Australia due to his anti-Semitic comments. West intended to visit the family of his new Australian partner, Bianca Sensori, in Melbourne next week. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.